What's poppin'? Cam here, back at it with episode number two. This time I'm paying tribute to the late Japanese director, animator, screenwriter Satoshi Kon. I was just mesmerized by Satoshi's work, despite the fact that I haven't seen any of his movies at full length thus far. Oh, hold up. Wait, wait a second here. You mean to tell me you're making a video inspired by Satoshi Kon and you haven't watched any of his movies? I will soon though. The numerous movie clips, creative montage, and short documentaries made and shared on YouTube by all of his fans were enough to put me at all. Quick shout out to those content creators out there. Satoshi's art opened my eyes to a, a whole new world. It sucked me in at the drop of a dime. The scenes are just simply magical. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was, that was dope. That was freaking dope. A new fantastic point of view. So it piqued my interest and I just had to find out more about Satoshi's imaginative world of surrealism. In the moment of curiosity, I watch the same scenes over and over again. Listen to the soundtracks over and over for as long as I can to soak in the feeling of why it is that I like it so much. I do this right as I discover something new because curiosity can slip away before you know it. This initial enthusiasm will get lost in the shuffle of all things you're bombarded with on a daily basis, like perhaps another recommended anime movie. I immerse myself in it so it doesn't leave my mind anytime soon you just never know when your due diligence will come back knocking on your door to help you out like it has for me in the making of this video so you know i pay attention to the sounds the visuals the cadence and really just admire the sequence of images the order by which he had decided to show or what not to show the audience and mad props to the bizarre beauty of his compositions and characters all of these different elements both explicit and implicit coming together so expressively so cohesively for the viewer like myself to enjoy, to be captivated by the experience on multiple levels. I've watched many anime films and Satoshi's work is exceptional. I knew it right away as I was viewing these fan-made clips. My first instinct was to pay homage somehow to the brilliance of it all, but that's like akin to saying, will you marry me after the first date? Take it easy there, buddy. Paying homage, really? But yeah, like, yo, why haven't I heard of this guy before? Well, it's never too late, right? Satoshi is probably the best anime director of all time. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I know, I know. A pretty bold, unwarranted statement coming from a person who hasn't even watched a single Satoshi film in its entirety. So what? I'm creating some controversy here. After learning a bit more about Satoshi and his movies, I simply couldn't wait, and I wasn't going to wait, to make a painting inspired by his work. You know, if we wait for something to arrive, we'll be waiting for the rest of our lives. Haven't you heard? I'm addressing this problem about waiting because I used to wait for that perfect moment to do something. I could have waited to see all of Satoshi films, or in in my case at least watch one entire movie before I begin a painting or wait for more inspiration to come in order to make this video yeah but that mindset of waiting wouldn't have gotten me started and you know it's all about the start button and you got to push it get the wheels in motion and you'll be on your way to making more and that is it it's not about one big idea it's about a string of small ideas that you put into action for instance it started out as a painting next thing you know it becomes a video and within the process of creating all of this I learned a little bit more about my own narrative and you know this this is going to lead to another painting and another video and so on 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 and plus, I wanted to see what my painting would look like under his spell. You know, when all the sights and sounds are still fresh in the mind. Strike while the iron is hot, they say. So while I was driving to work one day, the Satoshi images I chose for my painting were the ones that popped up in my mind. Like an Instagram feed. No, 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 scratch that. They popped up on their own, like mushrooms in a forest. No, 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 scratch that too. They just popped up in my mind while I was driving. Sometimes, you just gotta keep it simple. I was daydreaming, I guess, a bit. I probably daydream more often than not. And maybe what prompted my memory during this commute had something to do with life. I was writing solo, low on gas, low on cash, no music on the radio, my phone was on low battery, and I was sort of thinking about the little transitions in life and thinking about them with a simplified notion. Like for instance, sometimes it feels like I'm changing directions way too many times, moving aimlessly from job to job, and then from job to no job, and from living check to check, then checking my attitude about living for checks. And from being sick with COVID, I was out with sick pay, to then 
low pay and eventually no pay and I'm back to less pay to just looking at it and saying it's all okay I'll be fine let's go on and just like a dream my thoughts were interrupted it abruptly transitioned into a different direction an animated scene appeared cartoons in my head of Japanese men in business suits individually different but their faces all had the same grin the same resignation as they fall sideways off the top edge of a building one by one in some ominous sequential order at the same time elegantly rendered like some kind of synchronized swimming but with a tinge of darkness it gave me a mixed feeling of tragedy a mockery of some kind but not without irony and performance theater like life is some kind of pantomime a stage that we fall from but into what and who's watching i know don't mind this too much it was only a daydream it's rhetorical perhaps and these happenings in life are sometimes exceptional oftentimes ordinary but they all add up to something i suppose and so this small moment i had while driving had caused me to spin into existence a painting about satoshi and me a person i had not known about up until just months ago has now become a subject on my video and my art coincidence or nah well, coincidentally, Satoshi's imagination bled into my reality. I had this beautiful, colorful dream world of Satoshi's characters occupying my mind as I pulled up to the parking lot of my 9 to 5 gray corporate building. I'm located on the second floor where I make sure to say good morning to the receptionist. And it's business casual, business as usual, but that day, I felt more than casual. I feel like a million bucks, but my money don't really feel like I do. Because I put a little color in my day today and I couldn't wait to make a painting. And so this painting that you're watching is composed of Satoshi's imagery. The ones that never left my mind, blending the colors of my mood. As you can see in my painting, there's the gaping mouth of a drag queen named Hana from the movie Tokyo Godfathers. I don't know much about her, but the idea of a homeless drag queen protecting a baby with her life is fascinating. I mean, she's finally living with a purpose, something larger than herself. And so I had to really include this in the painting. The red Japanese mask can be found in the vibrant parade wobbling in the movie Paprika and it could be found in this painting as well. It's easy to spot. I used to draw Japanese masks when I was younger because like most boys I was into samurais. I don't know if you could spot it but there are a pair of anime eyes and mouth mixed in there somewhere. I'm really impressed by the beauty that can be found in the eyes of a terrifying gaze in all of Satoshi's female characters and so I had to figure out a way to mix it up in there. These were the first set of visuals that appeared in my mind and there Thereby, I used it to pay tribute to Satoshi. More specifically, it's not really a tribute to his life's work or anything, but a tribute to a moment I had. The instantaneous influence his work had on my perception. All it took were a few seconds of my attention to appreciate the beauty. And with this small glimpse into his work, I noticed a slight adjustment in my vision, a fresh point of view on ways of experimenting with my own art. And like the first few lines of a great poem, I wanted to experience more of it. Like what else is there that I might be missing? Unfortunately, Satoshi died at 47. And when someone dies too soon, we often think about all the things that could have been for that individual. But there's very little time for these what if statements. Therefore, what could have been for Satoshi is a small thought that can easily be replaced with the belief that all of what he's created should never be taken for granted. Moreover, it's how great he had been for the world while he was here that brings a strong affirmation to the point that we should act on our ideas and not just formulate them. So get them going, get them done, and most importantly, don't wait. There's an undoubtedly powerful spirit to his work that we can draw from and apply that same level of love for the work that we do. Stay far from timid, only make moves when your heart's in it and live the phrase, sky's the limit. Essentially continuing the legacy of passionate people, or some like to say, it's an obsession. Whichever terminology works for you, it's fine with me. The relationship with our dreams and our reality is a concept that reverberates throughout Satoshi's films, and it reverberated into my life. The magic of his movies within a matter of seconds helped realize my own magic. Through the work he had gifted the world, we will remember that he had existed in brilliance. And I know I'm not the only one with this sentiment. Although gone, artifacts of his imagination exist online and in DVDs. Personally, they exist in my mind, and it will manifest in the art that I create. 
there are thousands out there who are probably has felt much the same way about something or someone and it's a good thing to acknowledge it and with that thank you satoshi kon since the making of this video i have watched at full length tokyo godfathers and paprika and i plan on watching perfect blue next and you can count on more satoshi inspired paintings to come in the near future till then thank you for tuning in stay up stay popping stay persistent hit the like ring the bell support and subscribe peace